Okay. Um, we're recording. Hopefully, it's to the cloud. But I on my phone if uh, if not. Welcome to the November meeting for the Town of Wethersfield Shade Tree Commission. Tonight is Monday, November 8th at 7.30 p.m. And in accordance with the governor's executive order 7B, this meeting is being recorded and it's virtual only. Um, I'd, hear, I'd like to hereby call this meeting to order. I'm the tree warden. My name is Corey Christians. I see a couple of the Shade Tree Commission members with us tonight, uh, Mark Alpert and Alex Graver. Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, I'd like to move on to old business and ask for any discussion on the October minutes. Um, the public comment from the October, October minutes is that Bruce Graver reported a broken or fallen oak tree in the forest border of Cedar Street Park, and we did address that. Um, I also <clears throat> want to point out that in the, in the new business of October's meeting, we reviewed um, a Norway Maple at 119 State Street that was that was not approved for removal because no motion was made to remove it. And we wound up pruning that tree recently instead. Is there a motion to approve the October minutes? Make a motion. Second. All right. Is there a second? Thank you very much. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. Motion passes. Thank you. <clears throat> Moving on to new business. Um, we have a request to remove a heavily pruned sugar maple at 154 Charter Road. It's uh, It's been pruned by Eversource and it has some, you know, larger dead wood aside from its, uh, aside from its C-shaped form it has some larger deadwood in it wondered if uh you guys thought the same way as i did about this tree yeah i looked at it i didn't think there was much uh redeeming qualities about the thing did you notice it or did it get called in how did it come about yeah that's a good question this you know this tree you know i wouldn't i actually don't know it to be a town tree mm -hmm. yet um it got called in from a neighbor and I sort of said, you know, we talked, the guy was concerned about a bunch of the trees in the area, sort of a, sort of a, a guy that doesn't really like, like any large trees whatsoever. And I, I was trying to talk him through some of the good qualities in trees and talk him through some of the, uh, you know, what specific details about this tree and that tree. And this, this one at 154 is really the only one that I talked to him about that's a town tree or over the town right away that, um, you know, again, like you said, Mark, doesn't have many redeeming qualities, has that heavy Eversource pruning because there's three phase right there, sort of an unsustainable pruning. And, you know, he's producing some dead wood from down low um, some main stem deadwood and such. So that's why it's on the list. I'm working on reaching out to the homeowner just to, you know, sort of, uh, you know, discuss it with them also, and then probably get a measurement from our engineering department as to whose it is exactly. But this would be one where, you know, if it's on the line and it's approved, let's say, we'll, we'll probably be able to move on it and take it anyways. But in short, it looked, like it, was, it looked like it was pretty far from the 
from the sidewalk, but I don't, you know, I don't know how far the town goes. I was a little surprised. It looked like it was pretty far in, but yeah, you'll, would... you'll figure that out. I'm sure. Yeah. When I, when I try to determine tree ownership, I first look to our assessors online database map geo survey, which that survey was, you know, is pretty accurate and shows me that it's probably on the line if I had to take a guess. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, I won't be, I won't be guessing, you know, I, that when it's close, I do reach out to engineers to decide whose it is. Right. Um, again, like sometimes if a tree is really in bad shape and it's private, we do um, get the homeowner's permission to take it down because it's in the interest of the town. But, um, you know, the, the right of way line seems to be pretty deep away from the curb in that, in that set, in that, um, in that part of town. Mm -hmm. I don't remember there being a sidewalk there, but it is pretty, pretty far back from the curb. Right. Well, I mean, if it is a town tree, it seems pretty butchered on one side. I don't, I don't see the point of keeping it, you know? Yep. All right. I mean, it also didn't look that, that bad. I don't see it being an immediate hazard, but. Yeah, I would totally, <laughs> I would agree that it's probably not an imminent hazard. It's just, uh, like you said, sort of unsustainable. It doesn't provide too much value. Yeah, it reminds me of that beech tree in Old Weathersfield, except it's missing one whole side. <laughs> uh, help me out with that. You know, the, the U-shaped one? <clears throat> I don't even know if it's still there by the corner of a uh, church in Maine, where they pretty much cut the whole middle out. Oh, uh, I think that one's <clears throat> still there. I think that one might still be there. That's still there? It would be in front of the, uh, it would be... It'd be south of that intersection on Main Street, right? Yeah, kind of where you guys did those Lindens. Or shit, the Lindens might still be there, right? Or did you take the Lindens down finally up against the building there? Across from Village. We took the Lindens down on okay. Church. Yeah, we took the Lindens down on Church Street, but south of that on Main Street, I think I know the beach you're talking about. And yeah, that that's an unfortunate situation where it's like eventually that tree is probably going to have to come out yeah because it, it's going to succumb to being u-shaped to some degree you know it does have primaries through it mm -hmm. so yeah we'll replace that with an ornamental when the time comes a lot of that alex a lot of that uh that u-shaped stuff was on hillcrest i think we did that two years ago now yeah that was that was even an even a better example because there was like four trees that were U shaped. Um, some of them were beach actually, but yeah, that that was that was good to get a hold of, and it's nice to be able when we have the opportunity like this, like this charter road one. It's nice it's nice when we have that opportunity to to uh, take away the bad old pruning and and to to show some right free right place practices i like that i'll make a motion to remove the tree if it is a town tree all right is there a second, second. yeah i'll second that all right all in favor say aye 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 all opposed say aye all right motion passes <laughs> excuse me All right, moving on from new business to number five, uh, October work, uh, are the uh, October work completed list. Is there any comments or questions? Nope. All right. Do you guys have anything else? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I do appreciate your time, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Corey. See you, Alex. See you later, Mark. Talk to you later. Yep, yeah, bye. Bye.